Uh, Edmund, will you shout in a few more words? No. But John, John Hicks, will you shout in a few words? Oh, pink, oh, pink, oh, come on, 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 come uh, grand old day, and says you were supposed to see such a time for a uh, very bright day, PD. You know it. Uh, now, Pete, uh, who goes like this? Uh, <clears throat> no way, no way. You've got to keep RMA, keep RMA. And he does not say it anymore. The uh, pastor does not. Now, Pete, uh, <clears throat> when you start to think of this whole world. You're gonna get down, and you're gonna, and you're gonna, and you're gonna look around, and you're gonna run the ox study. Clear down the ox study. Do you not feed him? Uh, <laughs> and the ox main up there, and uh, have our have our fine lobsters in the summer, Peter, at uh, Perkinsies, and uh, and Pete. Uh, oh, Pete, uh, I think well, you like the best of the the fried clams, the Peter. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you want Jokins too, Pete, did you, huh? Uh, Pete, I'm going to say now, you, when, you get, when, I, when I get through and you uh, tape, you'll you, uh, what, you, what I think that you you like the best. I think you like the fried clams uh, at Woody's the best. Am I right or wrong? Answer. You are key wreck. He is key wreck. Now, Dad, if I, if I, uh, I, I, am I right in the me? And your favorite is the lobster turkey. How's it, sir, boy? Grand taste lobster. What do you take that? A turkey or a lobster? Uh, you would? What do you think? Uh, we are talking with the honor of Mr. Edward Ernest Hicks. He got into this. This dignified microphone, which I am speaking into today. And Edward is one of the well known hot dog comedians in this part of the country. And he would like to give us a few tips about the, uh, the jowl of the horse. No, Peter, I never speak about the jowl of a horse because if I speak about the jowl of a horse, then I'm in trouble, entirely in trouble. Because. You can't go to work and you can't take the jowl of a hog and turn around and turn the fun because you're going to go to work and you're going to go right down there. You're going to have a lot of streets of bacon that you can't figure out. They told you to do it. No, Peter. Uh, gracious Peter, when you start to think of it, what the ticket is uh, and where is Trolley? I'd like to know. Gracious Peter. So no ads. Uh, well, there was a time, huh? There was a time. There was a time. Raise it, Billy. Yeah. Raise it, Billy. Yeah. And, uh, the old guy, you know, he's up here, he's on that silicon. Oh, I can't tell you. It's Mr. Satan. Uh, Mr. Mr. Satan. No, the uh, old man. All he's on the old man. Hold it. Hold the tongue. And it is, now we're back talking to Mr. The Honorable Mr. Edward in the sixth uh, author of the book. The, uh, what you would call the puppet. A lobe of Pastor Donald H. McKinley. And what do you say about the frontal lobe? The frontal lobe uh, is a place where you store all your goodies. <laughs> and then you, then you, uh, then you, uh, your front lobe is up in there, and uh, uh, what you're saying to yourself, you're saying, uh, "I'll do this whole world and uh, I'll make the best move I've ever made in my life, and turn over and have one grand nap." Oh. Once again, we're talking to Mister Edward E., author of the book. What? 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 Author of the book, uh, uh, Can You Get On uh, Through uh, New York City? And also author of a book entitled, 
old brother, Street to Bacon. And uh, I know Street to Bacon was named the key phrase last year of the this entire United States. And it was also voted as the most dignified statement that has ever come across a doll base. And, uh, Emily, you say a few words about the origin of street space. No, uh, when you stop to think of it, Peter, street to bacon it sounds like a foolish statement, but you stop and think of it. You stop and think of that word and, and meditate on it, and you're, you're, you're coming out with a, you're coming out with some green depth of meaning. Where is it, Peter? Now, look at street to bacon. A street. What is a street? A street is a place where people desire and live. Now, you're going into a house to get what? Especially in the morning. You're going down to get bacon, am you not? Street to you, bacon. You get it? There is the warmth of your home, the friendship of your home. <laughs> and uh, lots of stuff that you're going down through that floor. You're, you're meeting different ones. You're meeting Pinpin. You're meeting... Uh, uh, Jettling, you're meeting uh, Unc, you're meeting uh, uh, Genoa, and you're meeting all different ones. And our grand Christmas morning, what are you having? You're having bacon in a dish with eggs, of course. But first of all, you've got to go through the street to get up to that house where the bacon is. Street to bacon, you get it? There's the answer. Oh, that's so serious, Well, that is what you call the street to bacon. <laughs> this is here. And uh, another famous thing that always came was down the meadows. Down the meadows to get, get a lot of snow. Get a lot of snow. Now, where was the origin of that get down the meadows? Well, here's the story. Uh, you're, you're up here in the north. You're up here in the north. And, and you're, you're, uh, you're in a, a place where uh, in the valleys, the meadows and so forth, uh, your snow accumulates the most. So you're going down the meadows to get some snow, do you get it? Not that you want snow, understand me correctly, but you're going down there to get some. And you're going to get some with whatever you're, or with you're walking, you're going to get it on your feet, you're going to get it on wheels, you're going to get it in your front lobe, and you're going to get it uh, right up your nostrils. Another dignified statement was, uh, and, uh, what is, what is that going Peter, Peter, uh, you and I were riding downtown today, many years ago, when we were uh, just a We heard on the radio a uh, comedian that was, uh, ever since then, that's been our key, the last song. Now, uh, you can think of a few more. And, and, uh, I want to uh, ask Peter, give us a bit more And we'll study in our each football and look down and look at our things 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 and look at Samanian, as a many of and many of the Samanian, and what did they get tonight? Well, Samanian, Peter, is in July, on the morrow, or uh, uh, that would be sufficient. Uh, along the north lines, don't you see, or manna. Manna is a bread and uh, a, a food. So you're saying, uh, uh, for all intent and purposes, Humanian, which means a uh, fine sufficient amount of pleasure. Thank you, Ed. Uh, we're going to be speaking here with Mr. Uh, Mr. Edward and a picture to be here. <laughs> and Edward, just a few words. Like, good morning, good morning. A uh, good friend and uh, my dearly beloved son, Peter James Hicks of Hodge of Massachusetts. Here's Cole 
maker of this taping with me. I want to say right now that uh, of all the things that I've heard, all the things that I've concocted, from the most profound saying of the entire history of my thrilling life has been <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, howdy, 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 howdy. Yeah, and let's talk to uh, Uncle John Nixon. Uh, John, glad to see you. 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 Thank you. Now we'll talk to Mr. Morris Six. And as you know, and let's, hello, Morris. Uh, how are you doing today? Hey, I couldn't read him. I couldn't teach him. I was all 